I knew that I was in, in trouble when I started seeing these security agents uh, around all the places where I would be. When I would be teaching, they would be outside. Uh, when I would be in my office, there would still be some outside elsewhere. So I'd be, I started guessing that something was wrong. I was called a leader of a provincial cessation as if any class would ever be with students of the same city or the same province. Arrested, imprisoned, in sordid conditions, going through a four months of total death life in prison, I came to admit that I was much dead as alive. I think the most obvious challenge is the expectations of short-term return in a kind of monetary uh, sense. Uh, that we are expected to deliver innovation, not intellectual innovation, but innovation that can uh, bring uh, cash back, so to speak. Uh, this kind of pressure is, is really th true uh, throughout the whole academic uh, uh, society. More and more, I think we're very quiet about academic freedom on Canadian campuses, and you rarely will hear that word. We had an unprecedented, in my experience, small talk on it in our Senate, and that was because we'd had an incident at my own university, and I will stop right after this. I had said academic freedom is also the, one of the buts is safety. And we've talked today before, speakers have talked about the need for safe space. But safety is also a trope that is used to curtail freedom of expression in all kinds of ways. And I'll give you one very quick example. At my university, York University, a mural was hung in a student-owned student center that depicted a young Palestinian man watching a bulldozer with a rock in his hand behind his back. That mural upset a lot of people. One donor said he was taking all his money out of York University and he would urge everybody else to take their money too. And there were many, many, many public calls, it was a big thing in the media, about taking that mural down. Well, the university did the right thing. The president said, we support freedom of expression. But then the president also said, but we asked our lawyers and we can't take it down. And then he said, <laughs> and then he said, and I'm going to be reviewing all the student rule, rules of student conduct to see what we can do because some of our students don't feel safe and this has made some students feel unsafe on our campus. And so he noted that the university, while we are committed to freedom of expression, there are other core values, including diversity, inclusivity, and respect. And the saddest thing to me is that just like academic excellence used to be pitted against equity, we now see academic freedom pitted against inclusivity, diversity, and respect, and with the idea that the academic freedom will be the sorry loser. And I'll end there. Thank you.